Okay, uh, yep, playing first again. Okay, uh, here's a hand I can keep. Probably just playing Crosstown Courier on turn two. Um, there's no real reason to run out the, um, the Prof Prison right away when we have a two drop, and we can just play this on turn three instead. I like Void Builder a lot. That gives us an answer to Unflinching Courage. And we got rid of Mizzy Mortars. Win win. Um, just going to slam Soul Storm Spirit next turn, almost assuredly. Down and Dirty could be good. Although. He's not really playing much, so he might have just missed a land drop. Nope, he got it. Ooh, that is a potent one. Yeah, we're definitely passing through this guy. Out comes the Pegasus again. So we're really not getting in with Crosstown Courier. No point in playing Void Wielders yet. I'd rather save it for a Armadillo Cloak. And now we can just play Axbane Guardian and pass. Armored Transport is annoying, but we can block it with Axe Guardian. And he has another one. Okay. Well, I guess um, I'll. He has three cards left in hand. He'll draw. So he'd have to play three cards next turn. So I think I can wait. Um, I'm going to cycle an action injunction here. All right, we got another Axe Guardian. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't have homing lightning. That would be a beating. I guess I could have uh, locked that down. Adaptive Snapjaw, okay. Not super concerned about him either. Putting an armadillo cloak on him would be slightly concerning. Ooh, Slaughterhorn is pretty pretty good. Um, let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, we totally have the mana to pull this off as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to attack with Soulsworn Spirit, and I'm going to Blood Rush Slaughterhorn onto this guy. And then I'm going to down and dirty. Target player, target card. And we want black. Green. And again, we got the armadillo cloak out of his hand, which is pretty sweet.
Interesting that Dried Militant is exiling these cards. Makes our Dilu and Primordial less good. But now if he gets a bunch of counters on this or something, we can always just bounce it. Um, so if he attacks like this, I'm just going to block one and then take four. I don't want to get rid of uh, this guy while he has an adaptive snapshot. We could play Slaughterhorn, but he needs to kill Soul Slaughter Spirit or he's just dead next turn. And at this point, I think I... Do I play Void Wielder? I don't know. We have three blockers, so I don't think I need to yet. Alright, so now I think we can block like this fairly safely. Eh, no, I'll take two. <laughs> Another Axe Bane Guardian. Okay, so how do we want to do this? Could just go for the kill. He has one card in hand. But if I don't, uh, if I don't kill him then I'm in a pretty bad spot. Nah, I'm just gonna go for it. I think he could have he could have killed this soul sword and spirit a while ago and he hasn't yet. So I think we're just gonna go for it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So given the cards we saw, do we wanna change anything? Protect and Surf could be good, especially since he has the Armadillo Cloak. It's not sure what we would take out. Like Runner's Bane is good against him. In Action Injunction is fine, but not amazing. It does cycle. Maybe I just take out an Action Injunction. It just kind of just delay things and not really do anything on its own. Yeah, alright, we'll try that and go to game two.